rise, or else I will beat you up. <laughs> Punishment. Drinking hurts us. No drink it or else there will be more punishments for you. Punishment. Have a take a cold shower. Now get in the shower. We already said the shower is cold, regardless if it's normal or you. I see that you want to take a shower. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm doing this because of all of you. Be a okay, Luke. Your next punishment will drink all of the water until it's nothing left. Drink it. Oh my freaking god. This kind of water is really cold, and I'm about to cool down. <laughs> Seventh punishment, jump into the sea. Um, ugly dog, I don't think this is not a punishment. Besides, this punishment is not bad. Well, just look and see for yourself. Um, okay. <laughs> There's no way I would ever jump to the sea that has two sharks. Ugly dog, can you please not let me jump to the sea and got by bitten by those sharks? Too bad, Lou, because this is your responsible for cheating at the final exam of history. Jump to sea right now. Jump to sea right now, or else I will force myself to push you in the sea. Jump. Now. Okay, ugly dog, I will jump to the sea. Ice cream from her partner. Oh. My. God. Of ice cream is my very cold. It will make me brain freeze. Nice punishment, drinking secret yellow bottle. Now drink it or else. Ow, 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 ow. Tenth punishment, you will be doing push ups 30 times. Start now. so bad. Hush, Lou. Keep doing push-ups until you reach 30. Eleventh punishment. Burn all of your entertainment stuff. No, Tuesday. Please don't burn all of my entertainment stuff. I won't buy these new entertainments if you burn my entertainments, including my money. First of all, all miners in Beyond City get their stuff taken away or burned because they are an extremely immature kids like you are. And second of all, this is what you get for cheating at the final exam of history. I will burn all of your entertainment stuff and that's final. So here goes nothing. No 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 no. No. My entertainment stuff and money has been burned. Now I have to find more money to buy a new one because of you girls. Shut up you. This is what you get for cheating at the final exam of the history, but you still have more punishments. Now let's go to the front yard. Twelfth punishment, you will do a suicide run. First you will touch the mailbox, and then you will touch Moxie's car. You have 20 points. Now do it or else I will make it longer. Come on Lou, don't stop, or I will make it longer. Now continue running. Thirteenth punishment, do 40 jumping jacks. Now do it. Well, you the two, since you want to try to cheat for final exam of history. Now don't stop doing the jumping jacks, or else I'll have an extra. Now continue. Okay, fine. Okay, Lou, for your 14th and final punishment, lock you in your room using the arm when you enter it. Wait, what? How did my door get locked when I enter my room using Beyond Logic? I don't know, and I don't care. When you enter your room, your door will be automatically locked. So you won't go anywhere except for school and SARS 6 school. Now go to your room or there will be more punishment. Oh great. It's locked. Someone help. There. That prototype doll deserved to get locked in this room for cheating at the final exam of a history. Yeah. 
Just like when you lock him up in the bathroom with a stench in there that I used the bathroom on my belated birthday. Now that Luke doesn't bother us again, let's make a schedule to make what we're going to do in summer as some fun stuff. Well, good then. Principal, how we really feel. So, if you really did it, we will be able to find out by looking at the security camera footage. Well, um, okay, fine. Yes, we did it. Well, then, we are going to take you three to the police station right now, and you will be charged with destruction of property. All right, you are all now officially charged with destruction of property. Officers from the department have assessed the damages that you caused, and the cost of the damages is greater than $1,000. So, that means you are all charged with a felony. Parents are going to be visiting here soon to ground you, and your vice principal will be visiting here to tell you all the disciplinary actions that you will face from your school. Will we be allowed to go home with our parents when they get here? No, you will not be allowed to leave then. Because the offense that you all have been charged with is a felony, you will not be released until a judge authorizes your release. After your parents visit, you will have a hearing at the courthouse, where a judge will decide if you will be held in jail before your trial. And if you are, the judge will determine whether or not you can be bailed out. But right now, your parents and your vice principal are here. Rachel, I can't believe that you and your friends vandalized your principal and vice principal's cars and got arrested, and now you three are all facing a felony charge. Why would you even do that? Because, Laura, Morgan, and I were upset that we got a detention today, and we wanted to show them how we felt about getting in trouble whenever we get a referral. That is no excuse for what you did. You deserve to get in trouble whenever you get a referral, because it is your fault that you write the school rules and get referrals in the first place. This is the second time you have been arrested. First, you were arrested back in February for shoplifting, and now you have been arrested again. But unlike last time, you are now facing a felony charge. Also, you three have violated the school rules by vandalizing my car and Mr. Wright's car, and that is why I am here to discuss disciplinary action that the school is going to take against you. As soon as you return to school for the beginning of the next school year, you will get 10 days of in-school suspension, and two 7-hour Saturday detentions, in addition to the 5-hour after-school detention that you received earlier. The damage that you did to our cars is very bad, but I know that the court will probably make you pay for all the damages. Anyway, that is all I have to say. When you are released, you will be grounded until you pay for the damages that you caused. I agree with Rachel's death. Morgan, when you are released, you will be grounded until you pay for all of the damages that you caused. I also agree. Laura, when you are released, you will be grounded until you pay for all of the damages that you caused. Anyway, I think that is all we have to say to you right now. We will be leaving, but we will be at the courthouse later today when you have your hearing. Goodbye. Alright, it is now time for you three to go to the courthouse for your arraignment. $2,000. You are 
next hearing is scheduled for June 21st, 2021. You will now be transported to the Randolph Valley County Detention Center. Will the bailiff please escort Miss Lori Wilson out of the courtroom now? All right. We will probably bail you out of jail later today. Remember that you will be grounded when you are released. Okay, next will be the case of Rachel Bradshaw. Will the bailiff please bring Rachel Brad after you are found guilty? Do you understand the charges against you? Yes, I do. Okay, and do you plan to hire your own attorney, or are you going to request that the court appoints an attorney for you? Rachel's father and I are going to hire our own attorney. Okay, does the state request that the defendant be held in the state's custody? Yes, we are requesting that the defendant be held in the state's custody, with a $2,000 bail. We believe this is necessary, considering that the defendant is facing a very serious charge, and she committed the crime while already on probation for the shoplifting conviction from February. Okay, and does the defendant have anything to say about that? Well, I guess not. Okay, Ms. Rachel Bradshaw, bail is set at $2,000. Your next hearing is scheduled for June 21st, 2021. Even if you are bailed out of jail, you still have to appear in court for your scheduled hearing. And you may be sent to jail as part of your sentence if you are found guilty of the charges. You will now be transported to the Randolph Valley County Detention Center until your trial, or until you are bailed out although the court may change or revoke your bail in the future. At this time, will the bailiff please escort Miss Rachel Bradshaw out of the courtroom? All right, Rachel, we will probably bail you out of jail later today. Remember that you will be grounded when you are released from jail. Goodbye. Goodbye. you into my office is because your history teacher confiscated both of your school laptops because both of you were using your school laptops to play video games during class when you were told multiple times to stop playing video games on your laptops and of your assignment 
and so you have violated the school laptop rules. Dad said, you both are losing your school laptop privileges for a week, so I will be holding up your school laptops for the time, and you will also be getting a one hour after school detention next Tuesday. Here are your detention slips. Alright, it is now lunch period, you may leave my office now. Ugh, I can't believe we got a detention, just because we were playing video games during our boring history class. Not only that, 